Hi there! Welcome to City Skylines for Beginners. This is tutorial number one. It's going to be a little boring compared to all the other tutorials in this series, but I have to get you up to speed on how to get around during these this series. You see, the this tutorial series is an interactive watch and do series, and this is the city, or you know, a portion of it that we're going to be creating in this um, in this tutorial series. Uh, you'll start out with a blank map, and you'll be creating this particular map that we're then going to make this city in. So to do that, you have to have a little bit of information. Uh, we'll start with, you need to be able to use the Alt-Tab key. You'll be in your program, you'll be in the YouTube listening to the tutorial you'll want to put it on pause down here at the bottom right and then you'll want to go back to your program and do whatever we've just shown you how to do in the in the tutorial to do that you have to know how to use the alt tab key which is what we're using to bounce back and forth between tutorial uh, on the YouTube and the actual thing you're going to do to copy it on your own map so, down on your keyboard is an Alt key right to the left of your spacebar. In order to get from, and there is a Tab key up next to the Q on your keyboard. If you hold down the Alt Tab, the Alt key, and while holding it down, you tap once with your Tab key, it'll take you to this next program. Once you let go of the Alt key, you'll see that you're suddenly in the tutorial. Hold down the Alt-Tab key again, touch the Tab key, it will take you back to your program or to another program if you tap again, still holding down the Alt key, or to your desktop if you tab again, holding down the Alt key, or back to the YouTube, holding down the Alt key, tabbing again, back to your program. Now if you let go of the Alt key, you are now in the program and you can do whatever you want to in it. Okay, that said, there are a couple things I need to show you on YouTube so we will alt tab back to the tutorial. You'll notice that it's very fuzzy. Um, in order to fix that you want to go down to the bottom right corner of the screen down here and click on the third icon over from the right on the screen. It will say settings. Click on it. You'll get this little dialog box popping up. It will say autoplay and quality. In the quality section, you'll want to go to the down arrow in the white part. Click on it. It will give you another dialog box with different resolutions showing. You want to click on at least the 480p. As soon as you do that, you'll notice that your screen has become legible. It's, you, it's crisper and you can read things and you can see things better. But the screen is still small. Because of that, you want to go back down where you set the resolution with the settings sprocket. And in that same section on the far right, you'll see another icon looks like four little corners on a page. It'll say full screen if you put your, your uh, mouse over it. If you click on it, it will take your tutorial screen to the full screen on your desktop. Makes it even bigger, even easier to read. Um, if you want to go back to a small screen, you go back down to that corner and you'll see the sprocket again and right to the right of it, you'll see exit full screen. On, on your inverted corners of a page down here. Uh, can, uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing down here. So you'll click on that and it'll take you back to the small screen. Um, as you're watching the tutorial, it will be episode seven. We're it'll going be to going do as we're doing today. there. And um, you will want to come that down to the bottom have your tools menu and open. click this little uh, thing down here in the corner, you'll either have an arrow or um, bunny ears. Or you uh, and as I as I click the arrow, you'll hear my voice coming on on the actual tutorial. 
your menu open. So go to tool. Okay, so that tutorial is telling you how to do things. Um, so once you've learned how to do something you want to do, come down here and click this section so that it's got um, the arrow and that stops the tutorial so that you can then alt tab over to your program and do whatever it is that we've just shown you how to do. Okay, um, with that in mind, uh, let's see, I went over large screen and settings. Uh, you will want to know one more thing. Uh, sometimes up here in the top it will say up next City Skylands for Beginners tutorial and it'll be your next tutorial. In this case we're watching tutorial number seven and this is tutorial number eight. That may not always happen. If it doesn't and you don't see your next tutorial up on the top up here, just come down here to the description section and on the first line down here you will see the tutorial following this one is found at and it will give you an HTTPS URL address. Put your mouse over it until you get a hand there and click on it. It will open up that next tutorial for you. You will then be in the second tab on your screen. You'll want to go back to that first one that you had open which was number seven and turn it off so that you have tab number, um, so you have your new tutorial open, in this case tutorial number eight, and you can click it to stop it as soon as the commercial is done. Hi there, okay. Hi. Th okay, so that's the beginning of tutorial number eight. We don't want to listen to that, so we hit the pause button down here in the corner and every time that you go into a new tutorial you want to check the settings again because they will almost always go back to what they were previously so you'll want to make certain that it says auto 480p or that it says 480p okay always a good idea to make sure that you've got that good resolution before you even get started and then go to a full screen uh, I think I've got everything. Oh, yeah. Taking you back to your game. Once you have finished working on your own game or your own map, while you're in the tutorial, you will always, know, even if I forget to tell you, because sometimes I do, go up to the upper right-hand sprocket up here in the, in the top right corner, click on it, and there will be a save something in this menu that pops up. Because I'm showing you a game, it says save game. Uh, while you're working on the first 18 tutorials, it will say save map. Um, so, But whatever it says, say save. And then find the name of what you're saving, which is the map that you've created or the city you've created. Click on it. Uh, make certain that's what it is down here and then say save and it'll say you are about to overwrite the save so you say yes I want to overwrite it and it'll it'll tell you it's packaging up here um, you want to do that before you finish playing with the tutorials and going on to something else um, otherwise you'll lose everything that you just created I think that is everything that I wanted to show you in um, in this tutorial, in the next tutorial, I will show you how to actually get around the city the way we're doing right now, moving around in the city um, using your keyboard and your mouse. And there are a lot of ways that you can get around in the city, but you'll want to know how to do that. So I'll show you how to do that and possibly a few other things in tutorial number two. So this is the end of tutorial number one. I hope to see you in tutorial number two. Remember, you can go into the descriptions down below right here and click on this little tab, this little link right here to get to number two if you don't, if you can't find any other way to get to it. Otherwise, otherwise, go to YouTube and type in Cities Skylines for Beginners tutorial number and whatever tutorial number you're looking for. Hopefully that will get you there. Hope to see you in tutorial number two. Bye.